Hello, it's Divine Honesty, and I'm back with another reading. Today, I will be reading for Taurus's Love Life for the month of April. Now, all the readings that I do, it does not resonate with everyone. So, if you can check out your moon sign, sometimes that will resonate with the reading more than your sun sign, okay? Now, you can look up moon sign on Google or in through your internet and then put in your date of birth, what time, and your uh, zip code in order to find out your moon sign. But not every reading will resonate with you, especially if it's your sun sign, because your moon sign is a more impactful um, pull to who you are, okay? So I can, we can pull information from that. Um, more than your sun sign, but for the overall part, sun signs do dictate the actual readings, okay? So if it does not resonate, check out your moon sign. So today, we have three cards representing your current energy, Taurus. And your first card is the Five of Wands. Your mid card is the Sun. Wow. And your final card is the eight of pentacles okay now for your first card to be five of wands i'm seeing right now you know it's very passionate your relationship is you're very passionate when it comes to your relationship towards okay you're very serious when it comes to that you don't you really either you're into them or you're not okay um also i'm seeing there's some, some type of conflict going on within yourself okay I'm seeing this is more within yourself because of your other cards, but it could be um, conflict within the relationship as well. It can even be fighting physically or mentally, okay? However, I see the sun, sun card, so you could be dealing with a Leo, okay? Now, if you're not dealing with a Leo, you could be dealing with another fire sign such as Sagittarius or Aries. Now, the fire signs are not compatible with earth signs such as Tauruses, but it does not mean that the relationship will fail. It just takes more effort, okay? But with this sun card, it's basically saying that you want a happy relationship. You want everything to be positive and bright, and you're conflicted if you um, with that. You don't know if that's a possibility with your partner, okay? You don't know if that's a possibility with your partner. Another scenario is the fact that you and your partner is not together because of the issues. And now the situation is brighter because you have let that partner go. Okay? And I'm seeing either if that's the case, you have let your partner go. Then it's time to focus on you again. There has been so many things that you have not been focusing on. And you have not had your priorities straight. Now you have the ability to focus on what you truly want. Okay? Now, if you are still with this partner, what this could be reading is the fact that you're focusing your energy and your happiness on your partner, okay? You're giving that leeway into your happiness, okay? And right now, since you're doing all this fighting and stuff like that, it's having you focus more on your partner, okay? And you're, want, you're wanting to know what's really going on. That's what I'm seeing, okay? Now, the next three cards are going to be representative of your partner's energy for this month. Taurus, and I'm seeing the Six of Pentacles for your partner's first card. For their mid card, the Ten of Swords. And for their final card, we have the Eight of Swords, okay? So, you could also be dealing with another Earth sign as far as Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, or a uh, Sword sign, okay? Such as... Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra, okay? Now, the Six of Pentacles, I'm seeing that's representative of your partner, they could be giving you a lot, okay? They could be giving you a lot of their time, or you could be wanting more of their time, okay? Or more of their attention. I'm seeing that either way, either they're giving you a lot or they're not. Either way it can go for this month of April, okay? So I'm seeing the gift cards. Now they also can be giving you false 
information or putting on a false light okay just because you have the ten of swords and the eight of swords um, for your partner cards as well so they could be giving you this false impersonation of themselves and be giving making it seem as if they're more they got more than what they actually have okay so be careful of that that could also be the reason why you having conflict because most importantly Taurus you know okay you really already know okay now with the ten of swords okay being your card then this person has either hurt you or been hurt by you okay this also can mean they've been hurt in the past they've been backstabbed portrayed so they're not really open to love and this is what the eight of swords represents okay they're not open to love because they have been hurt in the past the eight of swords represents fear okay it represents restriction not letting go not getting over something okay not wanting to see past it if you see her eyes is covered up and her arms are chained okay they're stuck in this energy this betrayal energy okay and either they want to make it seem as seem as if they're over it and they're okay but really they're not okay really they're still stuck in that present energy okay let's see your guys outcome for this month i'm seeing the outcome is the four of swords so with the four of swords that means relax take a break so maybe you guys will have to take a break from this relationship tours because it's going to be too overwhelming because there's some shit that they have to let go of. If it's not you, maybe it's someone in the past that they still haven't let go of. And you need to take a break from the relationship. Also, this means maybe if you guys are not on good terms anymore or you hurt them or they hurt you in order to see past that, maybe you guys need to take a vacation, okay? Do some spa, some yoga to get centered with each other again okay that's what i'm seeing the overall outcome now the overall message for you guys is the two of wands okay the two of wands represents decisions okay if you look at their the pathways one is to the mountains and the other one is to grass and greenery so basically which way are you going to take this relationship what 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 path are you going to take are you going to take the hard path and try to figure out shit that your intuition is already telling you or you're going to follow your intuition doesn't mean break up with the person or don't get back with the person whatever your intuition is speaking on maybe this person is the one for you and your intuition is telling you you need to get over it maybe this your intuition is telling you to let it go there's too much hurt that has been done and once you have that peace okay that um, break in the relationship then you can see what decision you would need to make or maybe if you guys come back together and you're able to you know ground each other again then you can see what decision you have to take okay or decision you have to make now this reading if it resonates with you Tauruses please like share and subscribe this has been another reading from divine honesty